Today, I'm talking about virtual cards. Virtual cards. A lot of people might have heard of what a physical card is or uh, what um, a physical bank card is, but then today I'm going to talk about virtual cards and the reason why you need to get some. Because, um, one, when you open a bank account at any bank, um, you, you have the ability or the access to request for a bank a physical bank card which can be a mastercard or a visa card okay so these cards um, is connected to your bank that is your primary bank account and also is connected to it and then you you can use it at the atm which is the automated teller machine anywhere and then you can withdraw your money okay so if you have a physical card you just need to insert your physical card into an atm and then you use it to withdraw money and also on the physical card that is being given to you by by the bank you realize that there are um there is a number on it which is the card number and also um there is the expiry and also at the back of the card there is some three digits there which is your security code which um allows you to um, purchase things online but then if you use this um, physical card details online um, the, the the probability of you being ripped online or being robbed online by these fraudsters or a hacker or somebody yeah let's let's put it like that simple terms a hacker or somebody who is able to hack the computer so these people can use your digits or your card number and then the details that uh, you you inputted online to to um um, withdraw all the amount of money that you have in your your bank okay the amount of money you have in your primary bank account let, let's say your savings account that money can be withdrawn using that what primary or physical card that is being given to you by your bank but then with the virtual card these virtual cards are created by uh, um, banks also I, I i don't know whether there are some banks but then all i know is that echo bank has this virtual card but then there are other third party uh, platforms that um, gives you the ability to create a virtual card so why am i talking about the virtual card because this helps you disassociate yourself from your main savings account so maybe you have a bank account or you have um, a savings account and the bank has given you a visa card you don't want the 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 problem or an issue whereby uh, when you input that card number and then the security and the expiry online and it's fished by any hacker or any uh, uh, malicious attacker online you don't want that case where they will get your information and use it to buy other stuffs maybe they'll use it to pay for their netflix or whatever buy cards buy stuff okay so to to be on the safer side it is better to what subscribe for a virtual card this virtual card is a stand alone uh, card that helps you purchase things online and so with these virtual cards you have the ability um, to just create it for just shopping sake you have the ability to just create it for um, let's say uh, subscription sake so when you just get the virtual card you use it specifically for a specific what uh, 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 product and so you only feel and a special amount of, of money or a specific amount of money inside the virtual card for something that you want to use or you want to buy online so that you don't save money on the virtual card for it to be fished or used for any malicious activity okay so it is important that you get a virtual card in as much as you have the physical card and so if you have the physical card you must make sure that you get the virtual card which will help you uh, 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 plan uh, and, and also send money onto these virtual cards to pay for certain uh, subscriptions so that you don't always use your virtual card, uh, your physical card online. Okay, and so I hope that 
you learned from this video. Thank you.